Hello everyone, welcome to another episode from KXF. So the last video I discussed about what is endothermic and exothermic reactions. So today, the continuation of the lesson, we are going to find out the enthalpy change. So the topic is calculating the enthalpy changes of chemical reactions. To calculate the enthalpy change of a chemical reaction, the what we use is HESCO, or we commonly call it as Kessel's law. So we are going to talk about Hess's law first. So Hess's law is uh, the Hess suggested that the enthalpy change of chemical reaction does not depend on the path it takes. It only depends on the initial compound or initial substance and the final substance. It doesn't take part the path or the route it takes. For example, Hess suggested as A goes to B and A goes to C and then C goes to B if this is delta standard 1 this is delta standard 2 delta standard 3 Hessel suggests that enthalpy change of this 2 2 and 3 is equal to the enthalpy change of delta H1 so delta H1 is equal to delta standard 2 plus delta standard 3 that's what Hesse suggests. We can, uh, we have commonly two types of these cycles. We call these cycles as his cycle, or the way around the enthalpy cycles. For example, you can have a cycle like this: A goes to B, C is here, C gives A and C gives B. So if this is delta H1, this is delta H2, and this is delta H3, enthalpy change. According to the Hessel's law, this two is equal to this one. What we do is we follow the arrow direction of the arrows, tail to head, tail to head. These two follow the same way. This goes the opposite direction. So delta H standard two plus delta H standard one is equal to the delta H standard three. That's what Hess suggested. So we call these stuff as enthalpy cycles. Another one, if I write something like here, A goes to B, C is there. A gives C, B gives C. If this is delta standard 1, this is delta standard 2, this is delta standard 3, these two equals this one. So delta H1 plus delta standard 3 equals to delta standard 2. So here we have three has cycles so that's the basic idea so what you are going to learn here is how we are going to construct this Hess cycle with actual compounds A, B and C are just just to indicate like it but instead of A, B and C you have the elements and the compounds so we are going to learn how to construct this Hess cycle and how we use that Hess law to find the enthalpy change of a chemical reaction so this is what we call as the Hess cycle, the Hess law. The basic idea of Hess law is Hess suggested the entire change of a chemical reaction doesn't depend on the path or the route it takes. So that's what that's what the Hess's law suggests. So to construct this Hess cycle, so we call this stuff as enthalpy cycles. We use the standard enthalpy definitions. So in uh, AS level, we mainly use three enthalpy definitions standard enthalpy of formation, standard enthalpy of combustion, and the standard enthalpy change of bond dissociation, or uh, something similar to that called atomization. So, those three or four enthalpy definitions are used to construct the Hess cycles, and those Hess cycles are then be used to find the enthalpy change of a chemical reaction. So, this is what has suggested. So we'll see how we can use this concept, the Hess law, to find the enthalpy change of a chemical reaction using the standard enthalpy definitions. 